guys! Today I would like to share a few tips with you on ways you can wear your hair to bed. I've been getting a lot of questions about this and requests to do a video like this and I can completely understand because it can be quite hard to figure out a hairstyle that is ideal um, for your hair type to wear to bed. For example, a tip that is often given uh, for a way to wear your hair to bed is to wear it in a braid but for me personally I have pretty thin hair and wearing my hair to bed in a braid doesn't work at all because if I do that I will wake up with super like almost crimped hair with straight ends because the braid is just too thin. So I have a few ways that I personally like to wear my hair to bed. So if your hair texture or type is, you know, similar to mine, pretty thin, fine hair, then these tips will be good for you and promise no braiding. So let's get started with the first one and the way I personally prefer to wear my hair to bed and the method I honestly use most days is super simple. I just use one of these kind of like foam cord hair elastics to tie my hair into a high bun right on top of my head. And the way I do this is I just very simply put my head forward, gather all of my hair. I don't even bother to make it like smooth or anything. In fact, I feel like it's a lot better to leave it a little bit loose. So then I would just gather all of my hair Pull it through the ponytail, like half, then wrap the ends around and pull it through again. And I have quite a wobbly, loose, kind of high top knot. And this is, for me, the most comfortable way, the most convenient, the easiest. And this is the best way I have found to carry over a set of curls. So when I have curled my hair and I want them to last until the next day, this is what I have found works the best for me. The foam cord hair elastic will prevent a crease forming in the hair or kind of like a dent where the hair elastic sits. So that's why I prefer to use this over a hair elastic or kind of like a regular hair elastic. You could use a scrunchie as well, those are really good. Because this is such a loose bun, it doesn't uh, hurt at all at the scalp. It doesn't put pressure on your scalp and your roots, so it won't damage your hair. All of the hair is contained, so it's not kind of like everywhere. I tend to sometimes kind of get my hair wrapped around my neck or in my face. So I like to have it all contained on top of my head and because it is right on top of here I can uh, sleep in any position and I will never feel a bun anywhere on my head. So this is kind of my preferred method but I have a few more. So another thing I like to do when my hair isn't yet styled you know and I have a little bit more time on my hands and I want it to maybe look a little bit nicer in the morning is I will again gather it all on top of my head, right here, and then I will start twisting my hair like that, and I will twist it into a simple cinnamon bun, and then just pin this with a few pins. Now you can use bobby pins or hair pins like this, or if you can see that, so just stick that in. And again, this is a bun on top of your head, so it has all the benefits of the previous one, but this one for sure will not make a crease because there is no elastic at all. If you do find that your hair creases easily and you get, the, you get, you get that even with this foam cord hair elastic, then this may be a good one for you. And it's just even lighter, it's a little bit more secure, I feel. So yeah, this is the second thing I sometimes like to do with my hair. And when I do do this, sometimes I notice that next morning my hair will be slightly wavy in a really pretty, flattering way, so... Tip number two. On the topic of waking up with pretty hair, I feel like I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but I am the sock bun girl after all. If you put your hair in a sock bun at night, you will wake up with the most beautiful curls. I use the method to curl my hair for prom, for my high school prom, so yes, definitely tried and true. I will take the foam cord hair elastic again, make a ponytail right on top of my head. Again, don't make this too tight, it's not a hairstyle we're going to wear out, so it doesn't really matter if it looks a bit wobbly. It's all about comfort. And then I take my sock donut, which is just a sock with the tip cut off and then rolled into a donut shape like this. I will take that, slide it over my hair, bring it all the way to the ends and then carefully wrap the ends around the sock like that and then start twisting it towards the base of my ponytail while simultaneously kind of trying to spread out the hair across the donut to create a pretty bun. Like 
that. And now if you spray your hair with a little bit of water, just plain tap water, just a tiny little bit to dampen it before you do this, then your curls will hold for hours the next morning and they will look so gorgeous. I have a whole separate video about this. It's one of my earliest videos, like way back. So if you want to see like awkward teenage Lucy explain this, then hop over to that video and you can see the end result of that as well. Now if for some reason you're not a fan of wearing your hair up um, but you still want to do, do something with it before bed that is not braiding then I can recommend doing just a very loose rope braid which isn't technically a braid. I will split my hair into two and then just wrap these sections around each other and I'm not going to twist them at all. I'm not going to you know necessarily not twist them. I'm just gonna kind of let my hair do its thing twist it like this and then tie the ends with another one of these or you could use one of those soft hair ties that are used for children often I'm afraid I don't have one at the moment to show you but um, yeah those really soft ones or a scrunchie but just something that won't again make that dent in your hair um, I feel like this works really well so this way my hair is all tied together but the braid or braid kind of like the rope twist thing isn't tight enough to create any waves or kind of like kinks in my hair next morning so this is kind of like a good neutral one for when you prefer to wear your hair down. And now for my bangs, I often get questions about what I do with my bangs when I go to bed. I have tried several different things. I've tried pinning them back um, just like this on top of my head to kind of ensure they would stay straight until the morning. I have tried splitting them down the center and pinning them to both sides of my face. I have tried sleeping with my bangs in a roller. So many different things but I have found that honestly the best thing is to just wear them down. So I just leave them down and hope for the best when I wake up in the morning and when they do look weird in the morning I just uh, wet them with a little bit of water, comb them straight and then let them air dry like that and that usually fixes everything. So that's kind of how I deal with my bangs. None of the pinning or rollers or whatever really works for me so that's what I do with my bangs. I just let them be and hope for the best. <laughs> so those are the ways I prefer to wear my hair to bed to make sure it looks nice in the morning, doesn't get damaged too much during the night. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more hair tutorials. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. There will be another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!